editor me here um hello and welcome to or back to my channel um sorry this video is out so late i'm gonna be posting a bunch of videos tonight and tomorrow to make up for everything um yeah um on top of having the flu i then got an ear infection just like but we're not gonna worry about my health issues um anyway so um yeah so in this video you're gonna see me a few days back doing just doing my hair right before going to see some shows which you'll see in another video soon enough um and I'm just talking about, like, what my tips are for what your, for your, like, how to make your Christmas list. It's more of just stuff on how to, like, what to get your friends. Sorry, it wasn't the most helpful video ever, but I'm trying my best. I, I had a major headache at the time. But uh, enough about me. Let's get on with the video. <laughs> back when I'm starting to straighten my hair because I feel like it'll be boring just watching me brush it out again. No, if you have curly hair and you're straightening your hair over, I would recommend using heat resistant stuff for like your hair like to prevent full on heat damage. I don't have any though. So we're gonna deal with that. Anyways, um here's sorry that those tips for making your Christmas list weren't the best. At least coming up with gift ideas weren't the best. However here are I'm going to kind of focus on ways like for friends because I not really have for sure how I do it every year for myself. I just put stuff together. I didn't burn anything off. Anyways, um, one of my main tips for figuring out stuff for your friends is what I've done was I went through like Redbubble, which is a fun little like website that sells cute things for like fandom. I don't really know how to explain it. Um is I would kind of be like, huh, what's the fandom that my friends like? Or like, or like, what's a character? What's something that I, that comes to mind when I think of this person? So for one of my friends, it was, for two of my friends, it was Harry Potter. Those two people know who they are. So I would Google Harry Potter, maybe their house, their favorite color, their favorite character, not color, character, stuff, stuff like that. So I could get like cute Harry Potter things and then if I ever thought found something I liked, I would save it onto the wish list. And then I'd go through and I'd be like, oh yeah. For some people, when I thought of their character and what they were and what they liked, I was just kind of like I just kinda of instantly knew when I looked at something. But it just depended though. Because sometimes there's a lot of cute stuff. Like for one of my friends, I did her house. Um should know who she is probably um and she and it was difficult to think of something it was like difficult looking around and being like oh i should do this i should do that and then there were some things i wanted to buy her but i knew her parents would not approve which is another thing to take in mind if they're living with like their parents or something or their parents might see the object be careful because there is one it well, there was a few. It was like a big, like different bags. I was like different the Harry Potter houses, but the names changed in a, a way. At least I find funny. I know that they would find funny because we have similar senses of humor. But hey, <laughs> I can't get a reasonable job. I'm in New Jersey, but like, hey, I know their parents are gonna look at that. It would get taken away. And it would have been a waste of money. So didn't end up even suggesting it. Plus, I don't think my mom would have liked that very much. Anyways. Moving on, that's one way. Maybe if that's maybe not something that helps you, maybe that doesn't, maybe you aren't able to use our bubble. Maybe Amazon doesn't have anything, stuff like that. Who knows? Um, what you can also do is, um, sorry, this is stuffy. Um, what you can also do is maybe try to find things that work for you and your friends. It's like maybe you are in a friend group of like three people or something i don't know just saying three because i'm thinking of maybe to my closest friends um like for us i'm going to try to find something trio themed because yes um yeah but it depends like maybe if you and some and one person are super close you could try to do something like my best like one of my closest friends jade for my birthday it's out in the kitchen that's why i left it when i got sick I know it's up here because I got 
of when I got sick, I left it out in there. But when, for my birthday, right before I got sick, I was at my friend Jade's house. And for the birthday thing, we had these necklaces. So cute. And I accidentally left mine out there because I took it off after I started feeling sick and didn't end up putting it back on. Um, so yeah. Um, we have those. I'm gonna actually have to restart wearing it because I didn't want to wear it while I was sick. Also, wasn't sure where it was. I thought it was next to my bed, but it was out there. Um, so I wasn't paying attention to anything else but myself because I was sick. But I'm fine now. I have the necklace. Turns out it was on the counter in the kitchen. It's all good. I need to straighten this up. This is becoming very difficult to do. Um, yeah. I'm not really sure. Maybe, like, if they're like me and they like books, maybe try to think of good books that they might like. Maybe try to think of what they've read now and look based off that. Like, what are good book suggestions for people who've read Harry Potter? Um, trying to think. Um, any of the S.E. Hinton books. I don't know. Stuff like that. Maybe Lock and Key. Like, you can even just take that. Maybe, like, if they read Lock and Key, then maybe, like, those... I think they're considered graphic novels. I don't know what they're considered. I always just call them comic book type. I just always call them longer comic books. That's what they've, I've always referred to them as, but I think they're actually considered graphic novels. I think. I'm sorry if I'm off on that. Um, but, like, maybe if they like that, you can find try to find more books similar to that in the more theme of like lock and key like a lock and key is like like a mystery thing at least the series does i was able to read the books because the pages kept flipping out for no reason i turned the page very lightly um, that's a rant for another time but like yeah you could maybe find books that are similar to lock and key that they might enjoy maybe even by the same author you never know like if if you have a friend who liked the outsiders like me if they read the outsiders and that's the only essie hampton book they have Maybe get them like tax or that was then this is now that was then this is now it's like considered the unofficial sequel i believe it's like the unofficial sequel to it in a way yeah they all also have movies oh because the outsiders they all do have movies because that was then this is now movie isn't i think as known though but it was done by emilio estevez who was to Whit matthews in the outsiders He's also the guy in Mighty Docks. I don't know the character name. But I, I've seen the movie multiple times. I just forget the character name. Um, yeah. I haven't actually seen the series, but I've been meaning to watch it for however many years now. It's been anyway, that's the point. Um, if they... I don't know, I'm trying to think of things. But yeah. Um, trying to think of, like, if they're a fan of something they might like. Hmm. so stuffy um huh if they are a fan of books similar to like dear evan hansen and be more tale first of all um i'd be a little warned because those books don't end well at least in my opinion dear evan hansen book is kind of similar to the musical though which is if you've seen the movie that's not a good representation of musicals all i'm gonna say be more chill only as a musical which is actually way better than the book so and I think most Be More Chill fans can speak for that. Um, if they like Be More Chill, that author has written other books. Um, sadly, in the early 2000s, he died. I'm going to say died, just to put it lightly. Because this isn't the video where I want to kind of talk about that stuff. That topic. But I do eventually want to make a video talk about like topics like that. Like mental health not right this isn't the place for me to talk about it because i don't yeah anyway but to put it lightly he passed away um so no more of his books will be coming out anyway dear evan hansen is a really good book one of my number one suggestions is the prom it's put it lightly like romeo and juliet without the death and make it modern day and gay it's a gay love story it's amazing it's like nothing the only thing similar to romeo and juliet is the fact that they were both kind of forbidden well only one side it was forbidden it was a one side of romeo and juliet thing if that makes any sense whatsoever because the other side was supportive the other side of the argument was supportive it's like romeo's family's like yeah you can't marry juliet but juliet's family's all like romeo we're gonna call her romelia because yeah 
I don't, we're, we're just gonna keep it Romeo and Juliet because I don't feel like changing names. Um, it's like Romeo's family being like, no, you cannot marry Juliet. And then Juliet's family being like, come on, it's okay. If you guys love, let me go get help. Love. There's no death though. Just gets sad at some points, but it's a great, the movie was amazing in my opinion. The movie was amazing. Except for James Corden. But besides that, it's a great movie. Um, yeah. Um, hmm. Hmm. If they like our, maybe try to get them our theme. I don't know. I'm awful at this stuff. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, ignore the fact this was just so awful. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss another video. I realize I did not do anything at all. This, this is how much has to get done. I did nothing at all this entire video. And whatever. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.